What's up everybody and welcome back in another video of the Rama Builders. Something different than your normal, uh, you know, tutorial how to create your Ramas or, or customize props, makeovers. Today we are going to do an unboxing of the famous Elegoo Mars Pro. Yes, this is a brand new one and as you can see I already have one. This is also the Pro version. So why do I have two? Um, it's very simple. I ordered it uh, twice from Amazon uh, Germany. And the first time that uh, it came out, there was some stock problems. Uh, it's a very famous printer, everybody wanted it. So at the moment I ordered it, the stock ran out. I ordered it again when the stock was refilled and uh, suddenly there were two Elegoo Mars Pro delivered at my doorstep. A little side note here. This is a new one. I will just be opening it for uh, this video, this unboxing video, but I will sell this afterwards. The test that I sh will show you is not from this printer, it will be from uh, this one. I want this printer to stay clean for its new owner. I'm going to un just open it, show you what's in the box, all the stuff you'll get. Uh, when you buy this uh, Elego Mars Pro. And afterwards, I will be jumping to this printer, uh, you know, to uh, yeah, showcase it to you, uh, explain uh, some features. Okay, with that being said, let's open it and see what's in the box. So I'm just going to show you for this camera that we are talking about the Pro version. Also, the sticker here that you have is clearly mentioned. We are talking about the Pro version. So, I'm going to take my knife. Gently cut it open. Because I don't want to damage the box. So the first thing that you'll see is a very thick layer of foam which uh, securely protects your printer. So the first thing that we'll see in the box is the, for my opinion, a very clear and understandable uh, manual. You have your package list, all the content that you can find in the box. All the steps that you uh, need to follow to start printing. Again, very clear, very well written with print screens, so this shouldn't be a problem. Well done. And here you have, of course, your Elegoo Mars Pro printer. So, first let's take out the box with all the content. As you can see on the sticker, we have a European version. And let's see what's inside the box. So, uh, first of all, here is the power cable. It's a European car power cable. And yeah, the power supplies that goes ahead with it. We have a metal scraper and a plastic scraper. Also a nice looking USB stick. It's a two gigabyte USB stick, which uh, contains some uh, test files. Uh, I think the manual also, and the GTBox software that you will need to slice your files. We have a measuring cup with some uh, gloves, latex gloves. We have um, a screwdriver, some extra screws and tools, just in case you lose some. Uh, this thing is very handy. It's um, not 3D printed, it's injected molded. This is um, very handy when your prints are done. You can uh, connect your build plate to it and this will tilt the build plate so that the um, yeah, remaining resin will drip off in the resin tank beneath it. We have um, yeah, a 10% discount on my mini factory where you can download uh, yeah, nice looking uh, creations, files, miniatures that you can print. 
and here is also very handy to my opinion some uh, precise cutters um, this you use for example when you want to uh, safely remove the supports from your uh, 3d printed part This is a uh, silicon rubber seal that you put on the bottom of the cover. This is something extra to prevent the fumes from the resin to escape. Also some extra masks. And here you have 10 funnels that you also could use very handy. So here I'm going to stop the unboxing of this new Elegumas Pro and I'm going to jump over to my other printer. And of course I'm going to put everything back in the box, seal it again and uh, if you are interested in buying this printer, please contact me. So once you removed all the plastic, you will end up with something like this, your uh, new 3D resin printer. And during this video, I will go through uh, some features, some specifications, yeah, some kind of comparison between the previous version. So let's start with this red cover. Uh, this is clearly an, um, in one piece injected molded part. It's not orange anymore, it's red. And it appears that red has a better protection against UV light. At the bottom of this cover you have that silicon or rubber seal which helps to prevent the fume from escaping. It's not airtight but it clearly helps. Besides the uh, rubber seal that you have there, another significant improvement that they installed is the carbon filter system. And the vents that are inside are placed in a way that they will uh, filter, they will suck out the fumes that escape um, from the resin during the prints and stop them um, from leaking into the room that, that the printer is located at. And the operation of the printer, of this Mars Pro, is noticeably odorless in comparison with the previous one. We are still talking about resin, uh, meaning that these are chemicals and it's obvious that you put this printer in um, a well-ventilated room and not just in your kitchen or living room where you or your kids or whatever are there all the time. Other improvements that they did to the chassis was putting the USB slot on the front which makes it more easier to access. Um, the power switch is still in the back. I heard many complaining that uh, it's better to put it on the front or maybe on the side but it's such a small printer, your arms are long enough to flip that switch on the back. I see no problem in that so far. Another uh, structural improvement is the linear MGM-15, the linear rail that you have there, and um, makes the Z-axis more smoother, more sturdier, and should give better print quality. Another improvement that they installed is a new stepper motor which makes the printer uh, less noisier, so more quieter and faster. The LCD resolution has stayed the same, it's a 2K uh, resolution LCD screen. Another big improvement is the UV light source. They've now installed an array of 28 UV lights. So instead of one light source in the middle, you have an array spread all over the LCD screen, meaning that even on the most outside corners, you will have the same resolution as all the inside of the LCD screen. And the, the curing time is reduced by 25%. Uh, in comparison with the previous version of the Mars printer. We all love cutting and time, which means faster prints. To install your resin tank, excuse me, but yeah, this is my printer that I uh, daily use. There is already some resin in it, sorry for that. But it installs very easily. And this has also been remodeled. It's slightly lighter and uh, has thinner walls, so it can contain more resin. This is especially handy when you do overnight printing. There is also a uh, clearly marked warning line with the maximum amount of resin you can put in the tank without it overflowing. The build plate has also been uh, revised 
And now, you know, the, the black build surface is gone that you had on the Mars version, the previous version. And this is replaced with a CNC metallic uh, yeah, grained surface, which helps to adhere your parts better. The build volume hasn't changed. It's still 12 by 6.8 and 15.5 centimeters. Also, uh, the build plate is also held together with some new heavy duty M6 screws and this will help to endure long-term wear. And also, it helps to level your bed less often. Uh, I had this printer for uh, four weeks now and only two times I had to re-level my bed. So this bracket is very handy. This is uh, used when your prints are done. You uh, disconnect the build plate and connect it now to this bracket which tilts the build plate in a kind of 45 degrees and it gets rid of the excess resin that is on the build plate or on your 3D printed parts. So here you have the two uh, famous uh, towers. These are test files which you can find on your USB stick. And uh, yeah, these are printed flawlessly. Even the text at the top of the towers, yeah, it's, it's crystal clear with no faults whatsoever. The stairs, the swirl in the middle, everything is printed without any fault. I have, an, uh, I have several FDM printers and uh, to me the first time that I saw this in real life I was uh, flabbergasted, I was blown away with this uh, resolution, how crisp and clear this is. The resin that I used for most of my uh, prints is the standard resin, it's the color grey from Elegoo. And at the back, you have some specifications how to set up your slicing software. So, what is the verdict of this printer? Um, in a nutshell, I love it. The print quality is, is great. The build quality is good. You get what you pay for. The Pro is uh, slightly more expensive than um, the previous version. Is it necessary to uh, buy the Pro version if you already have the previous one? I don't think so. The resolution is practically the same. You will barely notice the difference. If you don't have a resin printer, then the Pro is definitely something to consider buying. And that's why I love uh, the way uh, Elego thinks. Their motto is clearly, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They had a great success with the Mars, the previous version, and now they just had to build on that success and just fix things that they missed the first time. So the Mars Pro is kind of an evolution of the Mars, the previous version. So it's not a new printer, it's they built on the success that they had with the previous one. So given the choice between the two, the Pro is, is worth the money, worth the upgrade and the extra 40 or 50 bucks. There are also some things that uh, I would like to see improved or see otherwise. The first thing that I found very disappointing is that the printer is not shipped with any resin at all, not even a tiny bit. So when you receive the printer, it would be nice to print even a small uh, thing out of the box. But yeah, no, you have to order resin, uh, an isopropyl alcohol to clear your uh, resin parts. Uh, but you have to order your resin separately. And yeah, if the resin uh, arrives before your printer, yeah, you can't do nothing. Another thing that I would have loved to see is dual linear railing and that would make the printer that extra stable. And looking at what they achieved so far, I think, to my opinion, the next logical step would be to uh, insert a Wi-Fi connection, uh, maybe a, a 4K uh, LCD screen and of course a larger build volume would be nice to have. Although they are working on um, a new printer, the Elego Saturn, which would have a larger build volume. 
another thing that I um, found out is that the bracket that you use to uh, yeah, connect your build plate to get rid of the excess resin after your print is done, that if you have a large print, that you won't be able to use this bracket because it will be hitting this screw and maybe damage it or, or uh, break off supports or damage the part itself. So if you have large prints, this won't uh, work at all. Another thing that I don't like is this rubber sealing at the bottom of the cover. It's uh, when you lift the cover, this rubber sealing is you know, grinding against the uh, brackets, the two brackets that hold the, um, the resin tank in place. And it often comes loose like you see right now. I already tried to uh, glue it on the cover, but it keeps coming loose every time I lift up the cover. So we are at the end of this video. I hope uh, this was helpful for you guys. If you are looking for a new resin printer or if you are considering buying the Elegumars Pro, um, for your information, uh, this video is not sponsored by Elegu whatsoever. I bought this printer, these two printers with my own money. Uh, keep in mind that um, there is still one for sale. It's a brand new one, like you've seen in the beginning of this video. <clears throat> and if you have uh, questions or remarks, please put them down below. I will be happy to answer them for you. And I will see you, and I will be seeing you all very soon in my uh, next video, which will be coming online very soon. And it will contain tips and tricks, uh, do's or don'ts, if you have a resin printer like me. That was it for today. Dear Our Builders signing out. Bye everybody.